Hello the internet. I'm back from Richmond and I decided I was excited and I wanted to do my plant haul. So I'm going to show you guys the plants that I got while I was there. You've probably already seen the videos of the greenhouse tours of the shop with me. Um, and now I'm going to actually show you what it was that I got and I'm super excited about that. So. And then that said, the first thing that I'm going to show you, I actually got from my mother. Um, I'm going to put in some footage real quick of her angel wing begonia that she has that she's prom she promised me some cuttings of. So we're going to go ahead and look at that real quick. Okay, and now we're back. So this is the cutting. I took one long cutting and then cut it in half, obviously. And so I've got two cuttings in here. They're getting ready. They're trying to root, obviously. And um, the, the leaves took a little bit of damage getting home. You can see that there's some spots on them. This one, this one here is doing really rough. Um, just, he started shriveling all around the outside. Um, not really sure, but hopefully now that they're in a, they're gonna be just here. We're gonna root, we'll get them in some soil and then, but my mom has had this plant forever. And I just love all these tiny little spots all over it. And I was looking at it, we were driving home in the car uh, the light was coming through the window and just like hitting it from the back and so you could see the red on the back Like through the front and all the sparkly. It was just I mean it was gorgeous I should have taken some pictures, but I had a feeling it wasn't really gonna show up uh, but anyway, so I am super excited about getting this guy rooted and um, You know having my my plant for that and I completely forgot, apparently, when I was doing all these other ones, I got one more plant from my mom. So you may remember, ugh, so you may remember when I told you about my queen of the night and that my, I had gotten one for my mom at the same time, two cuttings, one was pink and one was white, or it said pink and white flowers. Well, apparently this is we got them at the same time so now you can tell she really has much better light at her house because this is how tall this guy is there's your tall poke there so this whole thing has grown in the amount of time that mine has been like a tiny little plant and she still hasn't gotten it to bloom but i think it's doing pretty well and now that i've got a little bit more skill with plants and fertilizers and all that kind of stuff, I'm going to give it a shot. So, sticking this in the middle of the video, this is my other plant that I got. And yes, it's in a tomato cage because we kind of figured that that was the best way to uh, keep it from falling over. These, these kind of get a little bit uh, leggy. And I'm also thinking that it probably needs some new soil but I'm obviously not going to do that right now. So here it is and back to the normal video for you. So one of the nurseries that I went to was the Great Big Greenhouse. I think that's what it was called. That was the first one my mom took me to and uh, they had a 20% off all house plants if you're a VIP and basically you just have to sign up to be a VIP. So I got all of these for 20% off, but Let's see, which one do I want to show first? All right, we're actually going to show this guy first because this is the first one I picked up. Frick Rack Cactus. I thought it was super adorable and it just looked so healthy and I had always thought that they were interesting. It's one of those ones where like the more I saw it, the more I was like, oh, this is really interesting. I think I'd like one and like there's a million in here. Like if you look at without that thing in the way. 
Like there's a whole bunch of them in here and it's growing. Like currently there's new growth points on all of these little, or not all of them, but a bunch of these guys have new growth points on them. So it's really, really healthy. And I just had to pick it up. It was $9.99 and I got it 20% off. So that was really nice. next okay so I saw the allocations that they had there and I just thought that this was really pretty I really I love the dark leaves because it's got dark leaves kind of like the regal shield only obviously it's much smaller and they're I'm not sure if this curl is from like the natural leaf shape or if that was just it it didn't get a whole bunch of sun but obviously we've got one guy suiciding here because I picked the one that had a leaf coming out already and he's actually been gradually coming out as the weekend has gone on because I got um, Friday. I got these plants on Friday. That was the day that I went and it's now Monday. Uh, so I just thought this was, I mean, I just like the color of this allocation. I like allocation, so I figured I would pick it up. It's a little expensive, but I think this was my big, this was not my big spend. This was, was my big spend until the one that I'm probably going to show you last. So, I know. Look forward to that. But really excited about this guy just for the color. And, um, yeah, this one did, actually didn't have a name on it. So, I'm going to have to look up and see what type of allocation it actually is. I assume it's some sort of hybrid. Uh, it is. It's purple on the back. Just, again, like the Regal Shield. It just... I don't think it's a regal shield because the shape of the leaves isn't correct. Um, I guess it, well, no. And then the petioles are purple. The petioles on the regal shield are, are green. So, I don't know. Either way, I think it's super cute and I'm going to grow it up and it will be happy with me. So, I decree it. Oh, you guys saw me get really excited about this on the video, and I obviously had to pick one up. A philodendron micans. I was not super thrilled with the quality of the philodendron micans that they had left. A lot of them had really damaged leaves. Um, so I picked this one. This one ended up being the best out of the group. Yeah, see, there's another. Um, this one ended up being the best out of the group, and they grow fast, at least from what I've heard. So it really shouldn't be too big of a deal that, um, you know, some of the leaves are kind of damaged. But I'm, I've am i wanted one of these for a really long time. I just love the, I just love the look of the leaves because it feels like it'll be soft even though they're not actually soft. And how the, the baby ones kind of come in like an orangish, reddish, whatever, and then eventually turn into the green and... Even these still have like some red along the edges from, I guess, from the back, because the back is, is. I just think this is such a gorgeous plant and apparently it's easy to take care of and it grows really fast. So I think it will give me a lot of joy in the future. So I'm really glad that I finally found one of these. Um, yeah, I'm super happy that I found one of these. I also ended up picking up a satin pothos. I, again, was not super happy with the, the selection that they had of these guys. Um, and the leaves, the leaves are a little curled. Um, but this was, this was the one I ended up picking up. And I'm hoping that it's going to be doing okay. And I got this one because these, this, branch here has some extra silver on it. Uh, yeah, you can see that pretty good. Um, these leaves have a little extra silver on it. It gets a little more normal to toward the end, but, you know, I'm hoping that I can get a little extra silver on here because I like the ones with, with more silver as opposed to no silver. So hopefully we'll see and we can grow this guy out big. And I figured that even if it was doing poorly, it's got some legs on here that I could cut off like if the main plant is somehow, for some reason, doing poorly, I can cut off these, you know, these branches that are coming out. And, um, oh. Well, that just came right out of there, didn't it? Huh. 
that is absolutely not rooted at all. Or it is rooted, but it's... Hmm. Yeah, that looks like that's going to have to go in water. And we're going to have to see... I wonder if any of these other ones can just be pulled out. Yeah, it looks like these... Wow. Okay, I'm actually kind of disappointed. It looks like these have not been in here for very long. I am going to have to... Uh, that is really not something I ever considered having to do, is pull out the things and see if it was actually rooted. Huh. Okay, well, luckily I know what to do, and we'll see what happens. So, that might be another video on its own. That is kind of disappointing. Okay, hopefully we don't have any other weird things like that. But I guess there's nothing I can do about it now, so we will just continue. All right, these next two plants, super excited about. You'll see why. That's right. I love my begonias, and I saw this one with the, the shiny pink on the leaves, and I just... Oh, I fell in love. And it's got the, you know, the normal, I mean normal. It looks awesome on the back of the leaves with the red and the, the green. But these just look, uh, I just really love the, the shine on these. And they, I guess they start, I'm not sure if it's they start out green and then eventually get the pink. Or they turn start out green with the white specks and then eventually turn pink. Or if it's like a sun thing. I don't know. We'll have to mess around with it. But this plant is super full, super healthy, and also rooted, apparently. But it's got a whole, a whole bunch of little baby leaves coming in. There's a, a number of plants in there, and it's, it's just looking super healthy. So, that guy. And then this is the last plant, I think. Yeah, this is the last plant that I got at this place, and it is another... Rex begonia. This one I got for the pink and then the little curl, which I just absolutely adore. And these ones are a little bit, this one's a little more silver with the same curl. So I like, I like both of these. I don't know what, you know, if it's, they start out silver and then turn pink or whatever, but I was just super enamored by this guy and had to pick him up and he was just a cute little guy. So, um, Fewer plants in here than the previous one, but there's still two plants and it's looking very healthy and it's, it's good, so. Then we went to, my husband and I were driving to the mall to hang out at the mall and crossed, passed by a nursery there that apparently had been there since the 70s. I grew up in Richmond and so apparently this nursery has always been there and I just, wasn't interested in plants, so I never really noticed it, noticed it, and, but anyway, we stopped by there, and I got only two plants, I was going to get three, actually, there were a number of plants that I wanted to get from there that I ended up not getting because I had already bought all those plants from the previous place, and I really just didn't want to spend a whole bunch more, so I got the ones that I really, really wanted, so that is this black cardinal it was a smaller one that i had seen at the previous place i i i just really think that these are pretty i i actually kind of want the black cardinal i also want the kind of the red one and then i have the prince of orange i just i really like them and they seem to grow pretty well for me so but anyway now i have the black cardinal i think he might be i mean his soil is a little bit wet and heavy i'm hoping that he's not overwatered, but the plant is healthy, and, um, but this was the place, they had some, um, ficus tenekis, which I've been looking for, and they weren't too expensive, but all of them had brown spots all over all of their leaves, and I was just like, I'm not, I'm not going to buy those with, with a problem on them, I'll, you know, keep an eye out, but, uh, the quality of the plants wasn't as great there, but I was able to find these two plants that I was happy with enough. And the other one is yet another Rex begonia, because I love my Rex begonias. And this one just, 
I'm loving this orange color. And then again, it's got the little curls at the top of the leaves, almost like the begonia break dance. Um, I'm hoping that when these leaves get big, because these leaves are kind of small, I'm hoping when these leaves get bigger, like the begonia break dance, that the leaf will actually be like the full size and then the curls will not overlap on each other. Like the leaf will be big enough that you'll get the two curls like you do on the begonia break dance. But I just was in love with that color. Um, it's got some, like this one's a little bit more green down here. And then there's some orange ones, like orange, and then the deep red. And so I think that whole, I, I, you know, whatever, the color gradient is just really, really beautiful on that. And it says, this is like one of the only ones that I got that was actually labeled. I guess the Mikens was labeled, but this one is Begonia Peter Piper. So for once, I actually know, I know the Begonia Peter Piper and like the breakdance. And I'm going to insert some video here of another thing that I accidentally found. I, I mean, it really was accidental, and you'll see why in just a second. All right, kind of busy in here, but I went into a Wegman. We're trying to find some stuff for a Super Bowl party, and we've got these Monsteras here for 20 bucks. Um, and then over here, I have what looks like Begonia Maculatas which is actually what they call them, to so the whitey eye, and what look like, to me, to be ZZ Ra Black ZZ Ravens. Um, and I'm debating whether or not I want to get the begonia, because, I don't know. And then we've got the you know, other stuff here, but I'm, oh, because here, Yes, it is definitely a ZZ Raven as compared to the regular ZZ. So, um, we're going to have to think about that. Let's a little bit. Alright. Okay, so yes. <laughs> I went into that, that Wagmans and there were just rare, I mean they were, okay, not rare uncommon plants that I just was not expecting to see. I ended up getting the maculata because I love begonias. I ended up not getting the Raven ZZ because I just, I had spent so much at that point that I just, I couldn't bring myself to do it. But I, I felt like, I mean, look at the size of these leaves. I mean, like, and all over they're like that big. Like, they're just, it's huge, it's a, it, it looked good, it looked healthy, it even comes in its pot, it's got a nursery pot inside of this, this guy here. Oh, grown by Costa Farms, I totally missed that. Anyway, and I just had to pick this up. So, I'm really, really excited about this, because truthfully, I didn't think I would ever have one. Um, and, and truthfully, I haven't been all that impressed with them on videos, but when I saw it in person and like these big silvery dots on here, I was just like, oh, okay, yeah, no, I can see why people really like them. So I have my, the first Angel Wing Begonia has the tiny little dots all over it, and then this one obviously has the really big dots, and the back of these, the back of these leaves are just so red. It's just like amazing. So I'm really really happy to get these guys home so that they can settle into my house and my mother also gave me like a room a room humidifier like it's for like 2700 square feet or something which this room is not my tiny little guy back there has just not been able to keep up the humidity in here so i'm hoping that this new one will be able to which will be very good for my begonias and my alocasias, and not so great for my succulents, but hopefully they'll be fine. <laughs> we'll find out. And so let me know in the comments which one of these plants you think is the most awesome, and which one you would have gotten, or which ones you would have gotten. I always love seeing, you know, what other people are interested in getting. And 
If you like this video, go ahead and give me a like. And if you aren't subscribed, if you would go ahead and subscribe so you can stick around and see all my other videos. And I would th like to thank you very, very much for choosing to spend some time with me today. And I will see you in the next video. All right. Bye-bye.